Hello and welcome to another colouring book review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing Yuko Higuchi's Museum and this is her first colouring book and Yuko is a illustrator from Japan working out of Tokyo I believe and this book is all about a brother and sister who go on a magical trip through a museum and they are transformed into the creatures that they encounter. So that can include plants, mushrooms, reptiles, mollusks, birds, all sorts, all sorts of things. Uh, so it's quite an unusual book in format as well. It has this um, slip off dust jacket to reveal this uh, green cover here. And the paper for the first few pages has a very, very strange texture. So this, as you might be able to see, is completely glossy and it's also quite see-through. You can see the next page through it as well. So it's almost like a tracing paper, but the back of it is uh, just a normal rough sort of paper texture. So it's glossy on one side and kind of rough on the other. And then here, this is, this is the same as this, so it's quite rough. It's a normal paper, it's not glossy. And then on the back, again, it's glossy, so they sort of go um, backwards and forwards between being glossy like this one and being rough like this one. So that happens for the first few pages, which is kind of weird. I've not seen this in a book before, um, how it's been set out. And obviously the glossy pages are going to make it quite difficult to colour with pencils, so you'll probably want to use pens on those pages. If you, you colour them at all, you might want to leave them black and white. So here we see that the brother and sister have turned into a pair of cats and this is where the paper starts with a normal paper texture. So it's just those first few pages that have this strange tracing paper quality. So you will see that the pages are already coloured in the background and they just have these um, black and white line drawings on them for you to colour. There are some text paragraphs running through it, so some conversations between the characters and uh, people and strange and wonderful things that they meet. So this is one that I've coloured with Prismacolors I think, no Polychromos I think I used on this one um, and you can see that I've tried to make the mushrooms look a little bit uh, glossy or glassy like gems and the paper took the pencils really well as you can see there's really nice blends and yeah it's a decent paper it's also fairly thick it's not the thickest ever but it's thicker than a normal copy paper say but as you can see on the back here I didn't put any paper between and that was a mistake because I pressed quite hard with my pencils and you can see that some of the ink has lifted and transferred on the other page now this can be erased with a rubber really really easily so it's not ruined it but you uh, might want to just put some paper behind to avoid that happening so as we go through the book, you can see that the cats slowly change into the things that they meet. So we're changing into a bird here. So it's quite, it's quite a whimsical and strange book. It's for those who maybe like to colour, uh, no, I can't say this word, anthropomor, no, I can't say it. Basically people that turn into animals or animals that have um, human characteristics. So. As you can see, all of the backgrounds are coloured and there is a huge plethora of species of animals. They've even got uh, fossils and bones here. We go from mammals to fish and underwater creatures. Back again to more land dwellers that we'll come on to here. got a crocodile and you'll see that they've now turned into a crocodile so that's the basic theme of the book all the way through so I think it's really interesting to have these coloured backgrounds in a book you don't see it very often with colouring books and it means that you don't have to worry about colouring those backgrounds in which can often be the most laborious stage of colouring but all in all it's just a really sweet interesting very unique book now, as you'll see at the end here, in a moment, we come back to the boy and the girl that are now back to their human selves. 
and at the back there are some colouring samples. So Yuko has basically coloured some of the animals from the book just to give you a bit of inspiration of how to colour them, what palettes to use maybe and where to shade etc. So there's a couple of pages of that and then some of these crystals here and there's a bit of advice from Yuko about using different kinds of media to colour them in. And the very back page is again a glossy slash matte ending page with a nice little illustration there. And as you can see, we have the dust jacket and the back cover. So this is published by Lawrence King and it sells on Amazon for $9.99, which is really decent price for such an interesting book. Uh, if you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps me. And I'll put all the links for you to buy this book in the UK and across the world in the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.